and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and in today's video we are talking chinchilla treats and the reason for this is I often get asked Ali what treats are safe for chinchillas so I thought I'd go through the list of the treats that I use regularly some of which actually may even grow in your garden. Okay before we get cracking I thought I'd talk about the first rule of chinchilla treats and I realise I just want a bit of Fight Club on you there. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. In all seriousness the first rule of chinchilla treats is the fact that everything has to be dried so no fresh stuff at all. So the final rule of chinchilla treats is to not use anything that has been in contact with pesticides. Okay so first on my list is marigolds. Now marigolds are extremely common flowers in the garden and are really relatively easy to grow. They can also be grown in containers and pots if you had limited space. Now what you do with marigolds is you can harvest the flowers to make treats. You just take off the flowers and dry them. Okay, you can dry the flowers in a variety of methods. You can sun dry them, which involves leaving the flowers out in the sun to dry it naturally. If you live in the UK, however, where the summers are, shall we say, unpredictable, you might find it easier to use a dehydrator or just dry them in the oven at a low temperature. Now, if you don't have marigolds in your garden or you don't have a garden at all, fear not, you can buy dried marigolds at health and whole food stores or you can buy them online relatively cheaply. And your chinchillas will absolutely love these. My chinchillas die for these. Okay, so the next one is chamomile. Chamomile is extremely easy to grow and it has a truly fantastic fragrance. All you need to do is harvest the flowers, same as with the marigolds, and you can dry the flowers in the same methods as previously mentioned. When my chinchillas actually smell the smell of chamomile because it is quite strong they go absolutely wild they adore these so so much now with this one i feel like nearly every single avid gardener will have at least one of these in their garden if not more i personally have about 10 of these and that is rose bushes there are actually three things you can harvest from a rose bush the first one is rose petals and the chinchillas absolutely love these just be careful about how many you give them though because roses are generally quite sweet the second thing you can harvest from the rose bush is the rose buds themselves so this is the rose before it's opened up into a flower now these do take slightly longer to dry if you dry them via the sun they might take slightly longer in an oven as well but it's well worth drying them because they absolutely adore these it's the final thing you can harvest from the rose bush is the rose hips this is the fruit of the rose and a lot of gardeners won't even ever see these develop on their rose bushes and the reason is it's because they develop after the flowers have died so a lot of gardeners remove the flowers once they have died and the fruit never develops if you leave the flowers on the bush eventually the flowers will die and then the fruit actually starts to form which is the rose here these take a long while to dry in the sun and also take a long while to dry in an oven so what i generally do is i normally cut them in half and cut them in quarters so that it takes less time for them to dry in an oven at a low setting but they absolutely love these and again it's one that you have to be fairly cautious of and not give them too many because they are a little bit more sugary and once again if you don't have these in your garden or you don't own a garden all these things from the rose bush are actually available to buy online okay so the next one on my list is dandelions now i always have an abundance of dandelions growing on my lawn and that's because i'm not one of these people that mows their lawn every other day i like to give it a good break in between cutting the grass and this is not just so that i can harvest some of the dandelion flowers it's also because it's good for the insects and in turn good for the whole ecosystem system in general. You can dry both the dandelion flowers and the dandelion leaves and these make a really tasty treat for your chinchilla. The next thing in my treat box is cactus flower. I don't personally grow these but I buy these online and again they really do 
enjoy these. The next one on my list is hibiscus. This again is quite easy to grow in the garden, although I have bought these ones online and uh, the chinchillas absolutely love these. They would eat these all day long, but don't give them too frequently again because they are a little bit on the sweet side. The next one on my list is whole rolled oats. Now these I get from my local grocery store and these are a really convenient and easy treat for your chinchilla because they are available absolutely everywhere and your chinchilla will absolutely adore these. They love rolled oats, they will just hoover them up. Right, the next one is hay cobs and these I buy online. They are a super healthy treat for your chinchilla as it's just compressed hay. So you don't really have to limit the amount of this you give to them and they do absolutely love them. They're good for the teeth as well of the chinchilla. Apple sticks. Now I am very lucky to have an orchard and every year when I'm pruning back the trees we will bake the apple sticks in the oven and give these to our chinchillas as trees. They're not only great for the chinchillas teeth but they also provide a lot of enrichment for the chinchillas because chinchillas love nothing better than stripping back bark. It's one of their favourite pastimes. You can also do this for a number of other trees such as hazel, pear and willow. So there are some fruit trees that you need to avoid and that is trees that have fruit that bear stones. So for example, plums, cherries, peach and apricots. You don't want to give those to chinchillas because the wood can be toxic. So steer clear of those. And once again, if you don't have an apple tree in your garden, you can buy apple sticks, willow sticks, hazel sticks, all online quite easily. Now the next one is bee pollen and I buy this from a whole food store and my chinchillas go crazy for this stuff but it's a little higher in sugar so I wouldn't give this to a chinchilla that's under the age of six months and for adults I would only give it really really sparingly so certainly not every week it's an occasional occasional treat for them so some of the other things i give as treats are dried raspberry leaves and blackberry leaves and sometimes dried strawberry leaves i also give them oat groats you might notice that in my treat box i don't have any dried fruit or veg or any nuts and seeds in my treat box and the reason for that is because they're entirely not healthy for your chinchilla. Now you see this online all the time where people are giving their chinchillas dried fruit so dried banana, apple, apricot, kiwi sometimes and all these things are actually far too high in sugar for them. It can actually do them some real damage long term and again with nuts and seeds although it won't kill them immediately it's not a good idea to give them these things because nuts and seeds are extremely high in fat and it's just not good for them. Yes those type of things won't kill your chinchilla straight away but they're just generally not thought of as good for your chinchilla so I personally don't give them anything like that at all and there is so many alternatives to using nuts and fruits as treats as i've just shown here there's a whole variety of things you can use that are far 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 more healthy than nuts and fruit so hopefully i've given you some alternative ideas i may have even saved you some money if you know that you've got these in your garden and you didn't know that you could use them as treats for your chinchillas so hopefully this video has been informative and i will see you in another video shortly goodbye for now